As part of the Center of Excellence in Genomic Science at Caltech and Harvard, we have initiated the Digital Fish Project. The long-term goal of the Digital Fish Project is to scan in the embryonic development of the zebrafish into a computer to make a digital recreation of how the program contained in the genome turns an egg into an embryo. One aspect of the Digital Fish Project is the creation of a software package called GoFigure for visualizing and processing 3D time-lapse microscopy data. In this video, we'll highlight some of the major features of GoFigure and show you how you can analyze your data with it. This data set shows a 3D volume of a portion of a developing zebrafish, focusing on the ear. We can see with the navigation widget that this data set has 9 time points and 70 Z slices. For time point 0, we have imported the results of a nuclear segmentation algorithm previously run on a cluster outside of GoFigure. We did this using a feature in GoFigure called Import 3D Meshes, which gets the information from a text file and saves the meshes in the GoFigure database. The database is a great feature because it allows you to save all the work you've done using GoFigure and start again exactly where you left off at some later time. Here, we're seeing a 3D rendering of 2,000 meshes that we've imported. Next, let's check out the Table Widget feature. Using the Table Widget, you can sort the results by volume or surface area to aid you in deciding which meshes need to be deleted or redone. So if, for instance, we want to look at the mesh which has the largest volume, you can use the Go to Mesh action to locate the corresponding mesh in the visualization. Here you can see it highlighted in red in all four views. You can also select meshes in the visualization itself using the Picking Meshes tool. Once you've done this, you're able to perform a number of operations on the meshes you have selected. For example, you could change the color of the, select of the highlighted meshes, delete the meshes, or choose for every mesh in the table whether you want it to be displayed or hidden. Apart from analyzing segmentation results, you can also track cells using this software. Let's say that I'm interested in tracking cells that are dividing. I have already looked through this data set and found one such cell, so I have bookmarked it. Let's take a look at the cell I've chosen. I'll center the display around this cell and zoom in on it for a better view. I want to track this cell so first I'll create a track and all the meshes created for this cell at each time point will automatically belong to this track. Now I'll use the one-click segmentation to create my 3D mesh but first I'll get an idea about what radius to enter for the algorithm using the measure distance tool. Here it looks like 3.6 is a good choice for the radius. Next, I checked which channel corresponds to the nuclei using the navigation widget. For this data set, channel 1 is the nuclear channel. Once these parameters are set, I can choose the centroid of the nucleus and then go ahead and click Apply Filter. We can see that this cell has been successfully segmented. Once this is done, I can go to the next time point to see what has happened to the cell. At the previous time point, the cell was located at the current intersection of the different planes, so we can clearly see that the cell is dividing. Other segmentation methods in GoFigure include automatically generating each 2D contour of a mesh separately, or drawing these 2D contours by hand. Here is an example of a few contours which we have already created. There are many other features, like uh, making a movie which shows any series of slices sequentially in time, taking a snapshot of the current view, and copying the data from the table widget for analysis outside of GoFigure. To know more about how to use GoFigure, we have more advanced video tutorials on specific features that we have posted on YouTube. You can find these by searching YouTube for GoFigure 2. Finally, 
We encourage any interested listeners to download GoFigure on SourceForge and try it out for themselves. If you have any problems or comments, please feel free to use the GoFigure users mailing list. Thanks for listening.